Hey all, welcome to the weekly bass tip. So say you have an audition coming up, maybe it's for a music school at a university, or maybe it's for a GB gig or a cruise ship gig, and part of the audition requires you to sight read. And maybe you don't really feel so comfortable with your reading ability, so you really want to do a crash study in reading. My big advice is to maybe put the reading a little bit lower on your list of things to prepare for the audition, because other things might uh, be better to prioritize. In other words, um, maybe your scales, maybe your repertoire, maybe your background vocals if you're doing a GB thing, because those things uh, are a lot easier to get together. Uh, reading is one of those things that you can't really BS, unfortunately, or fortunately, maybe, I don't know. Um, it's kind of like playing your instrument in general. Um, it takes a long time to really be able to get comfortable with it to the point where you can read fluidly and effectively. Um, if you do decide to crash, do this sort of crash study in reading, maybe you just got the audition thing and then you have two weeks to do it, I will suggest that you should be reading all the time, just non-stop reading whatever piece of music you come across. Um, whether it's piano left hand, piano right hand, doesn't matter what clef you use, just try and read whatever you can find. Um, now there's a few sorts of books that I recommend, or I can sort of recommend to you, uh, that will sort of give you a lot of material to read, because when you're practicing reading, you need a lot of material to actually do that. Uh, the big one, the be-all, end-all in terms of being able to get into note positions and getting all sorts of different funky things happening, this guy, the Bach Cello Suites, and you can see how much I have read it because there's cello, or cello stands, coffee stands all over it. Cello stand, hmm. Anyway, you can see if I open it, there's a lot of notes. A lot of notes. Woo! Plenty of stuff to be reading. Um, and the thing I like about the Bach is that uh, it doesn't really feel like an exercise. Bach really knew what was up in terms of writing some very meaningful music. Um, that can be played really slowly and sloppily and still have you can still have a great time doing it. I, I really love these suites to death, especially prelude number to the number two. Oh, it's intense. Um, so that's good for note reading. Now, it's not maybe the best for uh, rhythmic interpretation, rhythmic reading, because uh, the rhythmic style in the Baroque period might not be as relevant today. Um, so, in terms of reading rhythms and being able to sort of interpret and internalize rhythms, uh, I recommend this one, Standing in the Shadows of Motown, because one, it's very relevant to sort of any contemporary style is uh, James Jamerson's bass lines, and there's a bunch of transcriptions of bass lines in this book, but also um, uh, it's, it's a good sort of general historical study of a very important um, bass player. Uh, cool. That has plenty of rhythms. This one also has plenty of rhythms. Uh, the Latin Bass Book by Ostrich Nero. And it's really going to get your, kick your ass into gear in terms of reading syncopated bass lines and stuff. And you can sort of see if I open up. Oh, bass line, bass line, all sorts of stuff. Um, it goes from being relatively complicated uh, to fairly easy, actually, um, in between. So if you do decide to do this sort of crash course, uh, these three books are good. Uh, also, the Charlie Parker Bass Clef Omni book is a really good one, um, mainly because there's a lot of mistakes in there, and or, so it's kind of good for that sort of like on the bandstand reading where you're reading something that's like really poorly written. Um, but yeah, uh, check those out. But make no, no mistake about it, reading takes a while.